So I've worked 24 seven at a motel for well over a year now. And in that time, I've had to deal with a lot of shitty guests. There was a time a guest never returned their key after checking out and then later used it to try going into occupied rooms. The guy who complained to me about their internet not working only to discover that the internet for the whole building was out because they crashed their truck into the motel's outdoor cable box. And then there was a dude who was feeding burgers to bears while we had an aggressive bear problem. But nothing made me feel as uncomfortable as as this. So around 8 p.m. is usually the busiest time of each day for check-ins, and today was no different with guests just piling up at the front desk with like 10 different groups of people in line. I checked in this one family of about 10 to 15 people, and they seemed really nice and polite. I gave them their keys, so they went on their way, and I kept checking in everyone else in line. Later on, I'm down to the last two or three groups of people waiting. I'm in the middle of charging a credit card when the entire family from earlier just barges in right in front of who I was trying to check in, and one of them just starts screaming at me about their room not being clean. I say sorry and offer to put them in a different room, but when I checked what we had available, surprise, surprise, lucky me, it turns out I had just given away the last room of their room type to somebody else. Now, normally I'd try offering an upgrade, but the only rooms we had left were rooms with just one bed inside, and considering this is an entire family of 10 plus people, asking them all to pile up on top of each other on one mattress seemed a little unreasonable. So my only option left is to offer to have the room recleaned. And this is when the expression on all of their faces went from pissed to out for blood. And one of them went, I demand to speak to your manager. I am the manager. This tin go over so well. If you've never worked customer service before, then you might not know that when someone asks to speak to a manager, all this really means is that they want someone else to yell at in hopes of getting free shit. So when they can't do that, it always just devolves into a scramble of them trying to find something else to complain about. So they continued screaming at me about how shitty our motel is, how unprofessional I am, etc. Let's get loud. Oh, wow. And I guess in the middle of her blood induced rage, she realized that she was the next Scorsese because she whipped out her phone to start recording her latest masterpiece. Now at this point I start getting really nervous because this has never happened to me before. It's one thing to watch some Karen compilations on YouTube, it's a totally different ballgame when it's happening to you. Cleaning rooms isn't even my job, but the great thing about customer service is whether it's your fault or not, you get yelled at about it anyway. So this is when the gloves fully came off and they started personally insulting me. But the real kicker was when they said that I should get fired because I'm bad at my job, because apparently I should be personally checking if every room is clean myself. Like, all right, Sure, I work 24 seven at the front desk alongside everything else my boss asked me to do, but sure, let me just cut into that free time so I can check 50 plus rooms in case there's some dust under the bed. And while this is going on, I keep trying to offer some kind of solution, but everything just makes them more pissed off. I can have someone clean the room again for you. No, I want a new room and for all this bullshit, I better stay here for free. Your reservation is for three full days. I can't let you stay here for free, but I can fully refund you and you can go stay somewhere else. I've been through all this and you can't even give me a free room. What's wrong with you? <sighs> Listen, I'll give you my car if you just leave. I want a Tesla. Now keep in mind while all this is happening, there are still other guests waiting in line trying to check into their room. After having to be in the lobby listening to all this for so long, this caused a bunch of other people wanting refunds just so that they can leave and stop listening to this person scream at me. So it just kept snowballing into even more people being pissed off and me having to offer even more refunds. Eventually after more negotiating than a hostage situation, they finally agreed to leave after a refund. But after I refunded, of them, they leaned in and said, just so you know, you ruined my entire family's vacation and left. Like, dude, all you had to do was let me have the room cleaned again for you. I offered to do that like 30 times, which made the review they left us the following day even better. The manager was incredibly rude. Our room was disgusting. And he didn't even offer to have it cleaned or to refund us. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching the video, I really appreciate it. Also, I've been doing YouTube for a year now, and it's really cool that you've all stuck with me for so long. A special thank you to my patrons over on Patreon who have been helping me out along the way, I can't thank you guys enough. If you'd like to support me as well as get behind the scenes access to the videos, Discord access, and more, then check me out on there, and I hope you all have a rad day.